Thanks for joining me. Welcome. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. We are getting ready to jump right on in with this quick, 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 quick video. And in this video, we are going to be supplementing a license plate, a keychain, a bottle opener and a air freshener. And the reason I'm gonna be doing all of these in one video is because they're sold in a bundle. So you will get the uh, graphic artwork or design and it'll have all of these things to be able to sublimate on in there. So it's just best that I go ahead and just do them all in one take. So that way um, you guys won't have to search for a whole bunch of videos and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. But before we do that, please like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. And if you are, please hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much. We are almost at 8,000. Let's go ahead and get this to 10K. And if you happen to hear my little puppy in the background, I do apologize in advance. You know how he likes to do when it is time for me to talk to you. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the keychain first. So this is how the keychain looks. It's gonna be double-sided. Now, what you do have to keep in mind is that there's going to be a thin film on this keychain. You need to pull that off. It is a protector. It basically just protects it during shipping so it doesn't get scuffed or any marks or any scratches. So just take your time. You may have to use like an X-Acto knife to pull at the corners or the edges. But once you get that off, you're good to go. You may want to take a towel and kind of wipe it down to get anything off of it. This is what I am going to be using for front and back. And it's really simple. What you want to do is lay it down. You want to always keep in mind you want to line it up right here. I did one before and it was like this. So just be mindful that you want to line your artwork up this way. As always, you want to make sure you reverse your image. And you guys let me know if you want a how-to video on how I sized everything. Um, and you know, got the shape and the design for all of this, um, I get enough of you guys to ask me, I will definitely go ahead and do it without a problem. Okay, so I went ahead and lined everything up, and now what you basically want to do is just go ahead and tape it down. What I'm doing is just looking to make sure I have that outer bleed area all the way around, and then I'm just going to... Fold it over. I'm going to add another piece just to be on the safe side because I feel like it's going to shift. Work with me. Okay, there we go. All right, now I have, I'm going to press everything at 380 degrees and I'm going to do it for 60 seconds. Um, trial and error, we will see how this actually works, whether I probably should have done it for 460 seconds. Um, I'm just scared to press it that long. I'm scared like maybe it will burn. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, load this bad boy up. Let me get it in the center frame, make sure you guys can see it. Okay, and like I said, 60 seconds, we're gonna go ahead, clamp that down. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna do the back side as well, because it is double-sided. So we're gonna do front and back. After that, we are gonna go ahead and do the stainless steel bottle opener. Now, I also have bottle openers that have a white coating on it because some people just don't like the way the stainless steel um, looks once they, well, look, looks. They don't like how it looks, how it looks. Y'all help me. Um, so I bought some that are white um, and it'll give you that traditional sublimation, you know, look and everything on there. So we'll be doing the bottle opener next. Um, after the bottle opener, we will go ahead and do the air freshener. Again, that is double sided. And then I'll show you how to assemble it as well. And then once we complete that, oh, here we go. Alrighty, you guys, you know what I always tell you, it will be hot. If you love your fingers, don't be like me. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. Okay, make sure I'm in frame so you guys can see. Oh no, see what I did there? Dang it, my nail got a hold of the bottom part right there and it scuffed it off. So, 
You know me, I don't like to edit anything. I want you guys to see that. So when you are removing that tape, make sure it's just like with the tumblers. You don't want to scratch it or anything because it's going to mess up. But here you go. That is how it looks. And I'm still going to go ahead and supplement the other side because like I said, I'm going to keep this for myself. So it's okay. It's okay. It's not okay, but it's okay. All righty. And we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to lay that flat, line it up. You guys always end up seeing all of my mistakes. I promise. I can't be great. I cannot be great. There's always something happening in a video, but that's okay. It's life. Okay, so we have that down. Let me go ahead and put a sheet on top just to be safe and protect my heat press. Alrighty, and we're going to go ahead and do the second side. Okay, so where were we at? Okay, and then the last item that we are going to do will be the license plate. Um, so I'm really excited to do this one with you guys. Okay, so you know I like to give you guys the rundown. I am using the Trans Pro 16 by 20 auto release heat press with the pull out tray, and this comes from Pro World. Um, they usually tend to have everything in stock. I haven't really ever seen anything on back order except for when I ordered the Sawgrass um, 1000. Um, the printer that I use to print out everything is going to be the Workforce. Hold on. Let me not lie. Yeah, the Workforce 7840. That is the large format one. This one is the one that we are waiting for the uh, chip reset or the reset chip to be made for. So in the meantime, I do have to buy chips to um, keep printing. But I only do that for really, really large items. And that license plate happened to be um, pretty large. Okay, so there we go. Go ahead and show you that. So as you can see, the little error right there, that was my bad. All right, and we're going to flip it over, and this is how you guys this is going to look because you're not going to make mistakes because I made them for you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let this cool down, and then I will show you guys how to assemble the keychain because um, there's some steps to that as well. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is the bottle opener. Now, what you want to go ahead and do... Um, I like to spray my bottle opener or wipe it down with um, alcohol just to be, you know, to get rid of any residue or anything. Yeah, this is super hot. Okay, so it's probably not going to be perfect, you guys. I am just going to lay it on here because this is really hot. Um, yeah, don't be like me. Oh, wait, look at that. The whole reason I bought it so I can pull it out and get from up under the heat. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and line that up and we want to go ahead and tape it down. Okay. Alrighty. I feel like this is crooked. So let me try to straighten it. There we go. Okay. And for this one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and do it at 380. And gonna set that like that for a blowout. Is that tall enough? I'm gonna get it, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. 60 seconds. Okay, where was I at? Okay, so the workforce, they haven't made the reset, uh, reset chip yet. Um, I don't know if Cosmo Inc. is still working on it or not, but overall, it's a good printer. It does eat a lot of ink. Um, if you're trying to use it consistently for really large prints, um, I only use it for large prints. I use my Ecotank 2720 or my Sawgrass um, to print out any other orders or for tumblers, things of that nature. I rarely use that one unless I actually um, have to. Um, all of the blanks will be listed in the description box below with the website link so that you can go ahead and get to that. I will also have all the measurements listed in the description box below for everything. And like I said, if you guys actually want to see a video on how I size everything down, I'll be more than happy to do that. You guys just need to go ahead and let me know and I will give you what you want. Okay, I'm not going to grab this one with my hand because... It is metal. 
and I like living. So, let's go ahead. I'm trying to be in frame for you guys. So, here we go. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. Okay, so that is the bottle opener. And like I said, I have a white one. Oh, I'm sorry. My ring light is totally messing that up. Let me come up here for you guys. There we go. Okay, so that is the bottle opener. And how it looks. Okay, I'm going to let this cool down and then I'll go ahead and do the back side later. And we will just keep it moving right along. And we are going to go ahead and jump in with the air freshener. So with the air freshener, you want to do just like the keychain. You want to make sure everything is lined up correctly. So if your words are here, you want to go ahead and place that right there. Now this one I accidentally made a little too large, but it's okay. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. All right. So you're going to get your heat tape. I thought I had some ready for you guys. Okay, let's see. It's in the middle. I'm going to go this way with it. Okay, blow out. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do that one. 60 seconds. Okay, and you guys, I just want to go ahead and let you know that as of right now, we do have a flash sale going on for our sublimation 20 ounce straight tumblers on our website. We have two websites. We have one. Uh, the Fairy Tale Dreams Boutique, which is just our regular website, and you can just outright pay for your purchase, or you can go to our second website, which I'll have listed in the description box below, and I'll have it listed with install payment website, where you can make payments in installments. Uh, it'll be four payments over the course of two months, which means every two weeks you will be making a payment. Um, that will allow you to be able to buy bigger bulk or more items without having to have all that overhead cost up front. Um, so we are definitely looking forward to offering that service to you guys. Alrighty, let's see. There it is. Look at that. Make sure it is in frame for you guys. There we go. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and do the back. Okay, well, we're flying right through it, you guys. And for the air freshener, um, it all depends on your preference, your customer's preference on whether they want essential oils, whether or not they want you to... Um, actually use like a perfume fragrance things of that nature it's totally at your discretion and what you feel comfortable with offering your client okay well you guys we are speeding through this quickly swiftly and expeditiously all right I'm gonna go ahead and press that Okay, so as I was saying, the payment uh, plan option is available for you guys, so you don't have to shell out all that money up front. Um, everything does take about three days to be shipped out um, with packaging, but you will get your tracking number and everything via email. So we are definitely looking forward to offering that to you guys. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is let this count down, and I'll bring you back in once it is done. Okay, everybody, we are back and I am now lining up the license plate. So you want to have the white part or the sublimation part face down and the silver part facing up. Okay. So we want to go ahead and do that. Now, some people will press it just like this. Um, 
face, you know, the not flipping it over. They'll, they'll press it just like this. Um, traditionally, we are used to pressing it like this. It's all personal preference. I've done it both ways before um, and haven't had any issues. It, it just depends on what you personally want to do. Okay, so this is going to go in. Again, I am at 380, 60 seconds. The, the temperatures can range depending on who you follow, what you do. Some people say 460 degrees, 465 degrees. Um, I've done them all ways. What I'm going to say is base everything off of your machine. Not everyone's machine temperature and heat runs exactly the same. Um, you know what works best for you and your machine. Um, I personally rather do a lower temperature at 60 seconds so it doesn't end up ghosting instead of doing 400 at 60 seconds and then it kind of just uh, fades out. So just keep that in mind when you're doing um, any type of metal um, substrates because it can, it can just totally differ depending on the heat press. And the paper. It's a lot of different factors that go in. Okay. Again, this is going to be super hot coming off. So you definitely do not want to handle this with just your hands by itself. Unless you just don't want to have fingerprints. And that is your prerogative. Alrighty. So... I'm going to throw that away. I'm going to go ahead and peel that piece of tape off. And hopefully you guys can see it already. And I can just flip it. Yep, there you go. And so that, my friends, is how the license plate supplemate. I'm going to grab it off. Give me one second. There we go. Okay. There we go, guys. I'm trying to make sure I don't capture the ring light so you guys can see it. Now, keep in mind that this digital artwork, you can put anything in the middle, any type of font, uh, any type of saying for this. Um, also, it's going to come with the seat belt um, holder or the seat belt cover as well. So keep in mind that it'll have that in this bundle as well. I just didn't have any seat belt covers to go over to actually sublimate on and I didn't want to wait until those came in to uh, do this video. And you definitely see so I have my fingerprints right there, but you definitely just want to go ahead and wipe everything down with um water or a lint-free cloth um and everything. So now what we're going to do is we are going to Go ahead and assemble everything. So really quick, like I said, this is the air freshener, front and back. And then you're going to get the string that comes with it. You're going to insert it. And then you're just going to go ahead and tie it off at the top, however you want to do your ties. There you go. You're going to do it just like this. And what I advise you to do is to put it inside of the bag first that it's going to come with, open it up, and then spray or dip the essential oils that you're going to be using inside. And then you're going to kind of like just massage it and make sure you get everything. It's always going to be good at the bottom. Then you're going to take this out, uh, have gloves on, flip it, do the same thing, massage those oils in, turn it back around, and then you're going to pull this tab off and you're going to seal it, and it is good to go out to your customer like this, completely sealed. Alrighty, now the next thing is, when you have these keychains, you are going to need, I don't know, forgot off the top of my head, what this was called. <laughs> but you're gonna need one of these. You can get this at the dollar store, they're like 99 cents. You can go to Walmart, maybe $2 at the most. You do not need an expensive pair. Okay, so the keychain is gonna come with this already off. You're gonna go ahead and hook it on this part, not this part. So you're going to hook it on here and then you're going to pliers. So you're going to open, you're going to use the pliers to open this up. So let me see if I can get that to focus in frame. Hmm. There we go. 
So you're going to use that to open up the, um, I'm sorry, you guys, I can't get it to focus. Anyway, you're going to use that part to open up the metal pieces. Once you get the metal pieces to open up, you're just going to go ahead and stick it in. And you're going to rotate this part upwards, okay? And once you do that, you just want to go ahead and get your pliers and just clamp it closed. And once you have it clamped closed like that, you're good to go. And then that, my friend, is how the keychain will look. Just that simple. And there you go. Front end messed up back. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so this was the simple, quick, easy video. So we did the air fresheners for the car or locker. We did the keychain. We did the bottle opener. And keep in mind, we do have these in a white base, like a white coating. I'll be doing a video on that as well in a little bit. And then, last but not least, we have our beautiful, ow, still hot, um, yeah, still hot, and then I left it on there like it wasn't hot, our beautiful license plate. Okay, you guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment um, section, and I will be more than happy to answer. Uh, remember, please like, comment, and subscribe. We are on our way to 10K, and I thank you guys so much. And keep in mind, we have that flash sale going on. Skinny Straight Sublimation Tumblers comes with a box and lid. They are on sale for $8.50 a piece. Okay, you guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!